Please get your little chef hat we do. Chef hat. Chef hat. Hey everyone, I'm so excited because today <laughs> She's cooking. I am not, well, am I kind of? A little bit. Of okay. <laughs> I'm here with Robbie, and she is the best cook I've ever met in my entire life. Sorry, mom, but it's different. <laughs> <laughs> I am a newfound vegetarian. It was part of my 2020 goals. You're doing so good. I'm doing so well. Part of it is because I eat here maybe three to four times a week. <laughs> Robbie is an incredible vegan chef, and I want you guys to experience Robbie's incredible cooking. And also, she's gonna semi-teach me how to be less dependent on her. She's gonna and be a good sous chef. I'm gonna be a good sous chef. And we're gonna cook something vegan, by the way. I told her to just pick something that she loves doing that's easy, because she's always like, oh yeah, it's super simple, it's so easy. And I'm like, and It has like 30 you. steps, yeah. I feel like this one's actually easy. This one's easy. actually easy. Okay, so what are we making? So we're making kitchri, which is a super old school Indian dish. So it's a mix of lentils, rice, vegetables. So it's almost like a one pot meal. In Ayurveda, it's seen to be like the queen of dishes. By the way, she just passed her Ayurvedic exam. It's I a did. really big deal. So she's certified Ayurvedic, is it specialist? Health counselor. Anything she makes, I just assume it's healthy. Because I know, I make cookies and she's like, oh, these are healthy. Right? Yeah, and then I eat like 11 <laughs> because it feels healthy. So I'm so excited and nervous because there's a knife in front of me. I know. It seems like the moment when I was with your the mascara. <laughs> first things first, what are all the ingredients people need to make this? Okay, so this is basmati rice, split yellow mung lentils, cumin, turmeric, asafoetida, salt, garam masala, mustard seeds, and fennel, ginger, green chilies, curry leaves, and you can pick any vegetables that you want to go into this, but we're choosing no nightshades. I did one cup of courgette, one cup of carrots, and one cup of spinach. So choose whichever you want to start chopping up. What was the first thing you said? Courgette, zucchini, sorry. Oh, zucchini. British, you might want to wash it. Oh. Yeah, maybe. If I was you, I would like cut it in half. Cut the so then, end. Cut the end, cut and then cut it in half. half. Cut it in half again that way. Okay. Actually, for you, it'll be easier. So cut that again in half. For me, what is that supposed to mean? No, just Safety general, of general public. Yeah, and because these are like chef knives, they'll cut your finger off. So the one thing you need to learn when you chop is to keep your fingers like this when you're holding. So you. Oh my God, I fully was like. So you will never chop your fingernails off. Perfect. So okay, what's your nails? You make me nervous. Okay. okay, perfect. I did it. You did okay. great. I'm starting to get too confident. I know, I know. <laughs> Making me nervous. <laughs> I had cut some before, and look how well, look, they're literally exactly the same. <laughs> So yes. I um, usually soak my lentils overnight, which we've already done. Uh, that's because lentils are harder to digest if you don't do this. And it also breaks down something called phytates, which stop the absorption of the nutrients in your body. I also soaked my rice just for a couple of hours because um, it's just easier to cook and faster. So now we're just going to drain them out, which you can do. When you are washing out your lentils, you wash them until the cloudiness is gone. You can turn it off now. Okay. <laughs> Sous chef. You did a great job. I would give you a two out of 10 for that one. So now we're gonna add the lentils and the rice mix into a pan and then add three cups of water. This will serve about two people. And then I'm putting in a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. What does turmeric do? Anti-inflammatory, it heats the body so in cold weather it's so warming for you. Just lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. So we're gonna um, put it to boil and then you'll cover the lid and leave it to simmer. Um, for how long? For I'd say about 15 minutes or until you see that the rice and veg the lentils have completely cooked down and they're soft. Okay, so, so I, I guess I'm done that. doing the cutting. Yeah, okay. <laughs> great job. So confident. we're gonna put the um, temperature to like a medium heat. This is normally made with ghee. So I love using vegan butter. What is yeah. vegan butter made out of? So this is cultured coconut oil and it's actually the best tasting vegan butter I have ever had. It's insane. Yeah, because I have missed, like, the taste of butter is something you can't forget, you know? When you realize all these alternatives exist, which I had no clue, I thought it didn't taste as good. So you're going to put in a teaspoon of the, sp of the cumin. Love I feel cumin. like every Indian household has every turmeric Indian and cumin. Every Indian has cumin and cumin. This goes into tea. Cumin? No. This is mustard seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do another teaspoon of that. Okay. Love me some mustard seeds. Ooh, that's oddly satisfying. I know, right? Yeah. The oil or the butter should be quite hot when you put it in. Then you can put a quarter teaspoon of fennel seeds. So coriander, cumin and fennel is a mix of spices in Ayurveda considered tree doshic, which basically means it's good for all types of body and balances out pretty much any imbalances that you have. It's very calming. This is half a teaspoon of chili, but you can do it as you like. I haven't made it too spicy. And then I put in 10 curry leaves. Where do you get curry leaves? Where um, does one you know get what? Curry Any leaves? Indian stores have curry leaves. Then we're putting in a teaspoon of ginger. 
And then we use asafoetida, um, which is onion and garlic substitute because onion and garlic in Ayurveda is considered to be inflammatory and agitating. Oh, so so we, I don't cook with onion and garlic. Wow. Yeah, so this is a great substitute. So put half of that. So we're putting an eighth teaspoon because this is a pure form, which is super strong. Onion and garlic is I know, like same. sriracha in my life. Yeah. So we're going to chuck in the carrots, the zucchini, and then the spinach cooks fast and we won't put it in just yet. When I was growing up, I didn't want friends to come over because the smell that we're smelling right now consumed my whole house. I had one friend who did come over and she asked to leave because she couldn't handle the smell. No, she didn't. So it like scarred me, man. Wow. But now I'm obsessed with it and now I want my whole house. I feel like people absolutely love the thought of it now. Totally, which is so cool. Let's add some salt. How much? So put um, half a teaspoon. What kind of salt is this? This is pink salt, so Himalayan salt. Pink salt actually holds all the minerals that salt should have. Whereas with table salt, it's um, kind of taken away because the, uh, with the color and... It's also beautiful. It's also so beautiful, yeah. You can, if you want to, add all of this into your pot, but I prefer cooking these separately, otherwise they go a little bit mushy. Too mushy. Yeah, I like See, my I would having... I probably a... do it all at once, just ease for ease reasons. Yeah, it's totally your choice. Let this cook for a bit. How long? Until the vegetables are soft, max 10 minutes. So while things are cooking, we're gonna do a little quiz. Are you ready? What is this? What is this? Should I give you options? Is this a radish? Yes! I can't believe I knew Wait, that. Wait, what kind of radish? There's different kinds of radish. Yes. What color do you think it is inside? Red. Oh, oh my God, I was right! It's pink. Oh, it's pink. It's, so it's called watermelon radish. Okay, what are these? Potatoes? No, go again. What the hell is this? Okay, it's a trick question. It's also a radish, but it's just a normal radish. I was going to guess that, radish. actually. What is this? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> These are both in the same family. So this is spaghetti squash. Okay, what's that? Squash? Yeah, acorn squash. See, it looks like an acorn. It does look like an acorn. I know. Again, that's another radish. They're just different colored radishes. How many kinds of radish are there? So the veggies are cooked and the spices. This is also done. Let's get it for the care. I didn't reveal. do that, by the way. The that big, was... big reveal ruin. Ah. Uh. Because spinach cooks really fast, I normally just add it in fresh oh. into the um, vegetables. And then we mix that, ready, into this. Um. This is a little bit thick, so you can add a little bit more water or half a cup of coconut milk to make it quite rich. So yeah, this is actually like a masala mix of garam masala, so you can put that on. And then you can just cook it for like about three, four minutes longer just to let everything marinate in. By the way, this feeds more than two people. Oh yeah, okay, fine, maybe. Can I try it? Can I try it? Yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> It's just really wholesome and nourishing. Nice. I always call it like a hug for your belly. Oh my God, it's a hug. Can I have a hug? Yeah. There's lots of different things that I have. A green coriander and mint chutney. I put some other roasted vegetables on top. And also you can put yogurt with it. There's some great vegan yogurts out there that you can use. She just told me that this is a bit complicated. So I, was I think- like, this is easy. They're gonna be like, this was simple. <laughs> I am such a good cook. I know, you're so good. <laughs> Well done. This was so fun and so amazing. I want to do more videos with you. Let us know down below what other videos you want to see yes. us do. Actually, by the way, we they told us in the makeup video to do a cooking one. To do a cooking one. We heard ya. We heard ya. You guys need to go to her new site. It's in the description Yay. down below. All the content is there. Fun. I'm so proud of her. Rabidevlukia.co. <laughs> .co. Okay, let's eat now. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. Ah. Is that no juggling? Oh my god! Wait, no, 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 that wasn't it. Wait, that wasn't it either. No. Oh! Oh, we really shouldn't play with food either, should we? It's not what our mothers taught us. No, we're not doing that.